All right, so let's talk about creative ideas. If you're living in a place where backdrops and whatnot are just super dope, like places like, you know, Bali, Indonesia, you know, you got Colorado, Utah, California, places where there's just so much going on that the backdrop does all the work and you're just living in super amazing places, then, you know, photo shoot ideas aren't that hard. You just go out and shoot. But if you're living in a place more, maybe more rural, and you just don't have that backdrop that does a lot of the work for you, and that brings me to the point of creativity. So I did a paint powder photography as a kind of baseline to see what I need to do. And it worked out all right. It wasn't, I wasn't too happy with it. But you know, that's an idea to, for a photo shoot that makes it something more exciting. It takes a boring photo at an all right location to, an, to a better photo. Let's talk about what I have right here in this box labeled explosives. Center incision. Shit, I missed. Pack of peanuts. <laughs> you guys, quick sneak peek. That right there. That's what we're. That's what we're doing. Smoke bomb photography. Where I live right now, which is Lawrence, Kansas, it's a college town. There's not a lot to do here besides you know drink and party. College town. One of the most famous streets here is Mass Street, and that's because it has a ton of just attractions and places for people to go and eat and whatnot. They also have a lot of cool alleyways that I want to show. The downside is that because there's so many people there that there's always cops going around and smoke bombs, I don't know if they're exactly legal in a lot of places. I'm sure if we shoot it in the morning when there's no one really there, we can get a good photo. Because these things last for what? They last for about a minute, a minute and a half, like 90 seconds. So we're gonna be in and out in like less than five minutes. I don't think it's going to be a big deal, but let's move on to the next one. Bring 